and we're live. Hey guys, hello, welcome back. I am so excited about today's live. We've got a new setup today, so I'm just checking that you can hear me because we're actually streaming higher tech through a camera, so it should be a lot higher quality. Every single day this is gonna go up in quality, but first of all, can you hear me? I can actually see you guys, there's a slight delay. There they are, Macy. Hey Lily, that's Tamara. Oh yeah, you guys are tuning in, amazing. Can you hear me okay? That's all I need to hear. Oh gosh, I can hear myself. Yeah, can see you. Yes, you can hear me. Amazing. So today's session is all about the abs and it's the thousand rep ab challenge. To say I'm excited is the biggest understatement ever. I'm also quite nervous because <laughs> I haven't done this myself yet. So we are literally on this journey together. We're basically going to be doing 10 exercises at 100 reps each, but we're doing 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 and then repeat those 50. So we've got 20 exercises total. You don't have to worry about counting. Ted's is gonna be doing the counting, aren't you, Ted's? Yeah, <laughs> or no. Um, but I'm gonna be doing the counting, so you don't have to worry about that. There's gonna be music pumping, but in summary, we're gonna be killing the app. So how many people, oh wow, guys, this is the highest we've ever had, this is insane. Yes, oh my gosh, we are so nearly at 400. So before we get started, you guys are pretty excited, I can tell. Oh, and thank you for investing in better gear. This is the, guys, we are on this journey together, seriously. So I want it to be as high tech as possible for you guys. So anyway, abs, abs, abs. All I want you to do is find a soft surface to lie down on. Do not worry about the reps I'm doing that. Also smash that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Please, 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 it massively supports me. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Keep telling your friends. We have one more live workout tomorrow at 10 a.m. as well. And then we're gonna review, because I might be bringing out a full daily live schedule for you. So keep your eyes peeled. But I think let's get the music pumping and let's get going. So water bottle close by guys to drink. Try not to drink too much of it because I need you to use it as a weight. Okay. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Quickly write in where you're tuning in from. Just literally the country. We are at 400 people guys. This is insane. Woo! Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. Right, the music's pumping. We are gonna start off down on our backs, guys. Do not worry, I'm taking counts. Okay, we're starting off with scissors. Keep this quite close by. Fingers are interlocked, hands behind the back of the head, lower back is flat. So we're gonna tap down, up, let's go. Guys, 
weight. Next up, Russian twist. Grab a hold of your weight or your water bottle. Roll back to your biting point. Everything okay over there, Turret? Roll back, legs up. Get ready. Four, three, two, let's go. One, two. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Keep going. All the way to 50. Yes, guys, 20 left. Come on, keep pushing. 1,000 reps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, keep pushing, guys. Four, three, two, woo! Four legs are turning down, guys. Next up is a set of single leg stretch. Coming down. Ooh. Starting to feel warm abs, let's put it like that. So we're up here guys, we're gonna straighten and bend. Straighten, bend. Lower back flat. If you struggle guys, tap. Tap down and up. Tap down and up. Good work. Nine. Ten. Forty to go, that sounds horrible. If you're struggling, you can also come here, okay? Call tight, but don't stop. Otherwise, both legs are up. 16, 17. Yes, guys, 30 to go, come on. 30, 29, woo! Oh, my core is on fire. Double the pace, six, 25, 24, 23. Gosh, Woo! one, two, three, four, five. Guys, we've done five, so we've done 250 reps. We are officially a quarter of the way. We are now into a side plank. Your core should be feeling on fire. Two levels of side plank, you can either come onto the hand or down onto the forearm. It's entirely up to you. We're going with hip dips. One foot on top of the other makes it harder, guys. Leg down like this makes it easier. Find that beat going in four, three, core tight, two. Let's go. Down, up. Good. Four. We're a quarter of the way. Over a quarter of the way. Core tight. If you can, you're in a full plank, guys. That's 12.
burn. Sea saw planks up next, guys. Have a quick sip of water if you need it. We've nearly made it halfway. Nearly, she says. 150 reps to go until we're halfway. So we're coming down onto our forearms. Okay, fingers interlocked. Onto our forearm, find that B, nice and strong, no overarching, okay? In four, in three, in two, forward and back, forward, back. on is engagement here okay so making sure there's no overarching we're tucking under we are pulling the core in really tight rib cage down and we're gonna go in a little bit harder okay so we're gonna make the exercises harder for round two of course you can stay with the previous level okay we're all still here did I just see Sarah I think I just saw Dubai Sarah I hope I did I might have made it up but if I did babe all the way in Dubai with you we got this we are all over the world let me know where you're tuning in from and get yourselves ready for round two. We are going to set your abs on fire, okay? It's going to get harder. Going in eight. Going in seven. We've got scissors first. Six, five, four, three, two. Hour, let's go. Lower back, flat, guys. No overarching. Elbows wide. That's 30, slow it down. 
31. 32, slow it down. 33, find the new beat. 35. 36, four tight. 37. Now try and tap further away. 43. 44.
enough yet, guys. We're gonna go in harder, okay? I want you to grab your water bottle if you have it. Again, please pick the level of your choice. Down on the forearm if you want to, up on the hand. Here, here, or really advanced. I want you here. We haven't done this before, okay? Arm up. So it's down, up. Four, five, six, beginners, seven, eight, nine, or on the forearm. You can hover the leg. Let's pick it up a little bit. Twelve, good work. Thirteen, fourteen. Thank <laughs> you. 
finished, but we haven't. Actually, we definitely haven't. I missed out on exercise. You're gonna hate me. We have crossovers and we have a hundred of them, but I'm gonna mix it up with taps. I did just think that felt a bit easier than it should have been. You're probably like, Lil, how could you do this to us? Hands in a diamond shape. Underneath the small of the back, legs are up, we cross over and lower. In four, three, two, let's go. Thank you. 
puppy cuddles. Where's my baby? Hi, Bubba! Hi, Bubba! Oh, thank you. Where are you going? Oh, you're trying to find a toy. Oh, that was short-lived. <laughs> Guys, you smashed it. Huh? A Q&A, &A, yes. If anyone even wants to talk to me right now, I'm guessing you all hate me. Let me quickly log in and see what's being said. Oh wow guys, so many of you made it to the end. That is unreal, unreal. Okay, I'd love to say I'm glowing right now, but I'm full on sweating. How are you guys feeling? How did you find it? Teddy, everyone say hi to Teddy, my core's on fire. Lily, can I say hi? That's Sat, Sat for you. I'm hoping I said your name right, of course. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. We have another live before we have a little chat and that's, well, not another live now, but to let you know, we have another live tomorrow, same time. It's mainly for women tomorrow, but guys, you can of course join in. And um, it's all about building the hourglass shape. So I'm really, really excited about tomorrow's one. Um, but yeah, I think you're gonna be quite sore tomorrow. I certainly am, like I feel it around here. I feel it in my waist, wow. How did you guys find it? Quickly let me know. Um, whew, can't believe those views, absolutely insane. Kira, thank you for everything you do. Uh, amazing workout, sweating. I'm dead, 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 dead. Hi from Spain, my arms, I know, right? Arms and shoulders as well. Hi from Spain, I'll be here tomorrow. James says he's dying. Both of you are great, and Teddy. Oh, guys, I love you. Well done, honestly, massive, massive, massive well done. Please, um, just a few things in case you have any questions to ask. Make sure you check out the community page on my um, YouTube channel if you don't regularly, because that's where I put all the updates. Tomorrow is 10 a.m. again, but after that, as of Monday, I'm gonna be setting up an entire week schedule is the plan, so keep your eyes peeled on that. It's gonna be daily lives, we're gonna see how it goes. My goal is to get a thousand of us in here. We're gonna work a different body part every single day, so it's like a, it's a free whole body guide live, which I think is pretty insane. I can't believe I'm committing to this, but I'm determined to come out of quarantine in the best shape of my life, physically and mentally, and I wanna take you guys on that journey. So let's get the quarantine glow up <laughs> going on, that's the plan. Guys, do you have any questions? Let me know. Numbers are dropping because people are obviously tuning out now. We're done. Okay, Virag. Am I crazy if I used a foam roller as well? Yes, you are. But I'm so proud of you. Doing all of that stuff on a foam roller, guys, is hard. So you can do pretty much every single exercise that we just did on a foam roller or on a Pilates oval ball. I'm just going to give you an example now. The longer foam rollers are much, much better for this. Um, this one's technically a little bit too short, but say for example, single leg stretch here, that's working your core, I would say, at least five times harder because you're having to stabilize. So yeah, that gives you an example there. Um, guys, do you have any questions? Let me know if you do. Um, see you tomorrow, girls. Go tell all your friends. Let's get up, get it up to 1,000. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, please. If all of you in this group could get one extra person joining, one to two, and a few of you get two, but one extra person joining, we'll be at 1,000. So yeah, uh, that would mean a lot to me, girls. That would really mean a lot to me. And guys, because uh, I know there's some guys in here Lulu as well. Lulu says, so question is, Yes. I think I hit a plateau when I do abs exercises, I don't kill them anymore. Oh wow, who said that? Lulu. Lulu. Lulu? Lulu Lan. Oh, Lulu Lan. Um, it could be for a couple of reasons. It could be that you're getting stronger 100%. I know Virag, who was watching, said the same thing. Um, it also could be that you need to mix up the angle or the, the type of exercise you're doing. So with Virag, when she was you know, getting very, very strong in hundreds, for example, it just means that you need to mix up the hundreds that you're doing. So I'm gonna give you an example right now. So. Say you have been working out with me for over a year. Your core is gonna be insanely strong now because I'm a big core person. So, if you are doing a normal hundreds, it's gonna turn quite <laughs> tutorially, but if you are doing a normal hundreds like this, or like this, and you've been working out with me for a while, this probably won't challenge you very much. And I don't always show the super advanced, but what you can be doing with straight legs is a pulsation up and down. And trust me, that will hurt. Another thing you can be doing is this. 
So combining it, so it's just taking the exercises up another level or introducing new exercises. So some of my workouts that have the super advanced stuff like the, the out to the side reverses, they really, really work. Hopefully that answers your question, Lula, but um, it's a case of not upping the reps, in my opinion, even though we've just done a thousand rep challenge, but you'll notice I didn't do the same exercise. We did different exercises. It's about changing the planes you're working in, so the directions and making them more intense and sometimes slowing the movements down. That's if your form's right, and I'm guessing your form is right if you've been working out with me for a while, because I'm a, I'm a form junkie. Is there any other questions to it? Yeah. Okay, hit me. Um... Katarina says, okay. can you do a, what I eat in a day Yes, of course I can. Um, also, we've got, we we've got some, yeah. Um, how's best to do this? Can we link them under here? Um, yes, we can. We can put them in the comments, can't we? We can put it in the description after the video. Goes okay, live. once the video, this video goes live, which will be like, it's normally around half an hour. It takes a while to process because it's so long. I'm going to put them in the description for you and then you can just literally click on those links. So I've got what I eat in a day. Of course I can do more for you. I know right now I feel like everyone, particularly online, is concentrating on exercise. So if I can start showing you guys a little bit more on the food point of view. Um, if you haven't already, my cookbook, which is, guys, so affordable. It's so cheap. It's, well, at the moment it's on sale as well, £6.99, which is like seven, eight dollars. Um, that has pretty much everything I eat on a regular, doesn't it? And you, because mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I feed Alex. Um, so yeah, all of those recipes are like my go-tos on a daily basis. There's no like fancy stuff in there that I've made up just for the cookbook. It's literally my everyday go-to. So I think that would be a really good uh, purchase for you if you haven't already got it. Of course, if you want to, gives you an idea of what I eat. Uh, anything else? Yeah, Chelsea says, when will you bring out your own gym clothing line? I feel, oh. like, I feel like you know the women's figure so well. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's because I've been through a journey myself with my body. Um, yeah, trust me, I mean, I'm guessing my sister, my sister was doing this workout and she's probably um, tuned out by now, but we were kind of not brought up, that sounds awful, but we were of the belief when we were younger, like black is slimming, always wear black, it's all about looking as thin as you can, la da 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 da, um, which is such a horrible mentality to be in, particularly when you're young, um, and particularly because I'm quite tall, so I was kind of the gangly one, and over years, 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 I've definitely learned the shapes that work for my body, and I, I experiment with colours now, like I love bright colours, it puts me in such a good mood, um, but certainly shapes, like knowing what shapes works for my body and for friends, bodies and you know of all shapes and sizes so in answer to your question um I don't know guys I don't know it certainly was on the cards um something that we were really really thinking about we've got another massive project coming out quite soon so um it's at the uh, slightly further down the line for us but would you girls want it <laughs> quickly let me know if you would like a lily clothing line Quickly type in now, let me know, Alex will see them coming through, there's a slight delay on your comments, but yeah, if it's something you want, let's, I mean, let's look into this. I would love it, and I'd love to have you girls involved in the journey as well. Speaking of which, if any of you aren't in my Facebook group already that are watching this, the private Facebook group, it is unbelievable, and all of you who are in there, you are insane. You give me so much energy every single day. You make me very happy, so thank you. Um, and again, we'll put the link to the Facebook group in the description of this. Or I think, Alex, are you putting it in now? I'm just typing the name there. Yep. Ah, okay. okay. Let's put it in. Kira says, any, recommend any recommendations for side planks for a beginner? I really struggle. Also, yeah. any recommendations for gym wear? Ah, okay, so um, let's start off with the side planks. Beginners, side planks are complicated because they're full body. To be honest, any planks are full body. Um, so that's why most of the core stuff I do, it, I always start off with a core exercise down on the floor, just because I think from correction of form point of view, you're working in uh, normally one plane. So when you're on the floor, you're working in anterior posterior chain. Sometimes we'll put a twist to the side, but it is just that one plane. Whereas side planks, for example, you are working with so much balance here. So you're working the side to side plane, you're also working backwards and forwards, and you're also working with rotation. So getting the foundations right is so important. I would always start off on the forearm. You want the shoulder to be directly over the elbow. And then for a beginner, I want the leg back slightly, okay? With the knee in line with the hand. So that was a bit too far back. So knee in line with the hand. From there, you're just gonna lift. 
This leg's gonna come slightly further back, so you'll notice it looks a little bit squiffed to start off with, but this is beginner. And then I want you to make sure that you're in a nice straight line all the way across. As you become a tiny bit more advanced, you can move that leg back a little bit and then come up there. The key is to try and be in a straight line. Rest the foot down and make sure the core is super, super tight. If that's a little bit too difficult, you can put one foot on top of the other, and trust me, this still works. What you don't want to be doing is rolling back or rolling forward. Straight line, hand on hip, core really tight. A lot of the time I'll tell you to push the pelvis up past that straight line position. That's to hit into the obliques, the waist muscles, but you're starting off just in this, this rock solid position here. Breathing, eye gaze forward. Hope that helped. Did that make sense? Um, what was the other thing? Clothing. Which clothing line? Everyone's saying yes to the clothing. Ah, oh my God. It would be the bit, I looked at Teddy then. Why did I look at Teddy? But it, it would be um, my biggest dream come true. Wouldn't it, Alex? Mm -hmm. I love fitness clothing. He goes mad at me. You should see my wardrobe. <laughs> it's like, he's like, I would say 90% Alex of my wardrobe is fitness clothing. And Alex is always like, well, you just get out some of the old stuff so you can get new stuff in. And I'm like, but I love it. In all of my space that I'm meant to have, really own Good point. So basically when we, when we were looking for somewhere to live, um, or whenever I look for somewhere to live, I always like my priorities are the kitchen, so I feel comfortable cooking. Obviously a studio space and, and a clothing, <laughs> a big clothing area. Um, so it would be a dream come true. Please watch this space. I have a huge announcement coming probably in the next couple of weeks, Alex. Mm -hmm. We've had to fast forward it because of everything that's going on in the world and it's to help you girls as much as physically possible. And I am so excited about this, like so excited. Because uh, I, you know, it's it's another dream. It's probably a bigger dream than the clothing, actually. And I didn't think it would ever be possible. And it's you girls there that are making all of this possible. So yeah, um, yeah, very exciting. Clothing. This is Flex Fit, KLX Fit. They changed their name, KLXX Fit. They have really affordable, beautiful designs. I love. They've got removable pads. Um, I love that they're high waisted, they're, they're pretty durable to be honest, um, but also they're, they're super affordable, so you can, I've got a whole colorways of them. I love Lululemon, love Lululemon. I bought my first pair of Lululemons about six months ago, would you say? And the fit, I can see why they're so expensive. It's an investment, but they're amazing. Um, I would say probably my favorite at the moment is Gymshark. You'll see I wear Gymshark probably every other day in a video, if not every day at the moment. The fit of Gymshark from a female body point of view is friggin' phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. You know, um, and again, this is understanding the body. Things like your mountain climbers when you're running it out. You know how you feel like a jiggle and it doesn't always feel that nice? <laughs> um, they hold you in and the best, the best word for Gymshark is sculpt. They sculpt your body. They shape your body, particularly from an hourglass point of view. Um, Gymshark leggings are my favorite. Gymshark tops aren't always my favorite, but some of the new ones are unbelievable. If you'd like me to do hauls, girls let me know i'm hoping i've got some more clothing wear on its way um but we don't know what's going on with with deliveries and stuff at the moment but if some of the new gymshark stuff comes in i can maybe do a haul for you girls I'm super excited to get it actually yeah okay millie millie says i'm pretty strong now since i've been doing your workouts for ages amazing i have some generic problems with my shoulders okay sometimes it feels like they could slip out of the socket do you have any advice oh it sounds like you alex exactly he gets um subluxation every <laughs> I shouldn't say every time, but a lot of the time when you snowboard. Um, yes, I mean, first things first, it, I would need to know from a physio point of view, because I straight away go into geek zone, physio zone. Um, but if it's something that actually has happened, you have actually had a subluxation, which is where it's actually come, your shoulders come out of the socket, the ball and socket joint, uh, that's physio. You need to be going to a physio, you need to be finding out if your ligaments are lax, that so they're moving more than they should. Um, on top of the ligaments, there could be a bone form, um, 
why can't I get my words out, bony formation um, like or malalignment. So it could be something that actually is a bit deeper than just exercise. But then the last thing it could be is weakness of the shoulders, which is where I would come in from a strengthening point of view. So rotator cuff, they're your muscles around your shoulder need to be strengthened and all of it needs to be strengthened. So things like planks will certainly do that. But the problem with planks is even side planks, a lot of the time you're holding in that one position and you're often like moving your legs rather than your arms or shifting around. Um, so actually rehab exercises are what you need more than anything else. So rehab exercises can be on a wall. It can be with a TheraBand. So um, you know the resistance bands that I've got, the loop ones? There's something called a TheraBand, which is a long line. It's what physios use of rubber band. And they can be used in so many ways to strengthen your shoulder. My best advice is to go to a physio, which is gonna be hard now. I don't know if there's any physios doing like online assessments. Um, oh. Maybe if you're in the private Facebook group, write it in there and I'm gonna give you a link to a couple of physios who might be able to do online like consultations with you. Um, I've got a few friends in London who might be doing that now. Otherwise, um, you can also look on YouTube for rotator cuff strengthening exercises, which certainly isn't gonna do any harm. So rotator cuff, that will help strengthen, which Alex, you need to be doing as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Conan asks, any recommendations for strengthening your knees from your experience? Oh my gosh. Yeah, loads. <laughs> so um, Conan is a family friend. So he knows, he was actually in Naseko, which is Japan, skiing, boarding, when I um, ruptured my ACL and my MCL. So he knows firsthand how much of a journey it has been um, strengthening my knee and getting back to full mobility. Um, it depends on the severity of the injury, but if it's something as extreme as mine, which was really pretty bad, it's just following the guidance of a physiotherapist and your surgeon. So, 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 so important. If it's not that, if it's something that's kind of just more so niggling, certainly cut out jumping to start off with and go with hill it workouts. So hill it, different to hit. Hit is your high intensity interval training. Hill it is basically hit, but without jumping. So you're still going high intensity, you're still getting your heart rate up, you're still fat burning, but there's no jumping whatsoever. So rather than a jump squat, you'd be doing a normal squat, but really fast and pushing it out. So start off with the no jumping, and then gradually start introducing some change of movement, change of direction, and proprioception. You wanna go with balanced stuff as well. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mr. Quiz Man. <laughs> can you demonstrate Mm -hmm. Guys, do we have a lot of, how many people are still, have we got a couple of hundred? Amazing, you're still, you're still sticking around, this is great. Quickly, ask your questions. Um, have we got a lot of beginners in, in here right now? Quickly let me know, and while you're letting me know, I'm gonna demonstrate. So a sit-up is very different to a crunch, guys, and a roll-up is different still. So I'm gonna break down the differences and why they're positive or negative. My least favorite of the three, which I'm gonna start off with, oh my gosh, then I'm gonna sneeze, um, is a crunch. So a crunch actually is a very small movement, and it's working the muscles, yes, but it's not working them through range. So the main thing that people tend to struggle with when they're doing a crunch, a sit up or a roll up is they get neck pain or back pain. So the reason why I prefer a full roll up is we're going through full range of movement. For beginners, you can start off with your feet underneath a sofa, okay? And your arms up and over your head to get some momentum. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, you're going to start off leading the movement with your head and your arms. You tuck your chin to your chest. You use momentum. Feet are under the sofa if you need them. And you come all the way up. That bit's cool. But actually, the magic happens when you're coming down, okay? So feet are under a sofa. Relax the shoulders and neck. Your neck shouldn't be straining. Keep it like your chin is tucked to your chest and roll back slowly, your feet are on that sofa, the sofa's controlling you, use that core and try and do it to a count of six or to eight if you can, relax the shoulders, lower back touches first, then the mid back, then the upper back again, use momentum to get you up nice and fast, slow, 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 relax those shoulders, slow on the way down, a roll up, would be the equivalent, so a full roll up, roll down is the equivalent of about six to eight crunches. I much prefer full roll ups. Sit ups are kind of your middle ground. So sit ups are where you're going about halfway up. So your upper back is leaving the floor. Sometimes a sit up is even touching 
like so, which is what we do in the 14 day challenge. Um, exactly the same principle applies to a sit up as a roll up, roll down, but you're not controlling it as much. So keys are chin tuck to chest to stop the neck from hurting. Look at my neck closely. This is what most people tend to do when they do sit ups or crunches. Okay, because they're trying to move with their neck. Your neck shouldn't be doing the movement. This should be doing the movement and your chin should be tucked to your chest and relaxed. I hope that helps. Yeah. Yeah? I learned a lot just then. <laughs> I go into geek zone, don't I? I can't help it. It's the physio in me. Always do that. Imaginary glasses. Geek zone. Amandine Dean says, Lily, you know I train a lot with you, but I yeah. always have a crack sound coming from my lower back. Okay. I'm doing abs with my yeah. right leg. Uh, it's probably when my right hip. leg is in extension, mm -hmm. do you have any idea what it could be? I think it's probably your hip, because um, I get it as well, a lot of people get it. Um, general rule of thumb, and this please, please, please is general rule of thumb, um, if you are getting any clicking, any clunking when you're doing movements, and it, there's pain with it, you need to get it checked. If you're getting clicking and clunking when you're doing movements, even little clicks, and it's not hurting, there's no pain, you don't necessarily need to worry about it. It could be that a ligament is rolling over the bone, or it could even be, for example, let's see if I uh, can't hear it today, but normally whenever I do that, I click, and it's not painful, it's often an air bubble releasing. Um, one thing you can do, because I get it in my left hip whenever I'm doing single leg stuff, um, particularly wide single leg stuff like this, um, you can just make sure that you're stretching a lot and that can help. So stretching a lot, particularly around that area, but the areas around it as well. So if it's hips, you want to be stretching your lower back. So for example, hips, you need to be thinking forward plane. You need to be thinking across the body, which is also going to get your back. You need to be thinking about your adductors, so opening and closing. And then lastly, you need to be doing hip flexors as well. Which you can, all of that is on um, exercises, cool downs are on my channel. I think, Amandine, you also have the eight week lean guide. I'm not sure. If you have the eight week lean guide, you, there's like big stretch outs in there as well. So keep me updated on that, but that's the general rule of thumb. Hope that helped. Sat here asks, what should we eat before and after workouts? Oh, whoa, big one. Um, big question because there's so many answers and there's no wrong or right. Uh, there is one thing that I would strongly, strongly, strongly recommend for after, um, which is protein. The window for protein, different studies show different things um, and the quality of the studies varies, but general rule of thumb is you want to be consuming your protein within a two hour window after exercise, mainly because that's when it's most efficiently going to be used to, to convert fat into muscle. So um, protein and carbohydrate, I tend to try and do that with a 20 minute window just because I've found personally with my body that it's way more effective. So I'll have a protein shake. Those of you who know me quite well will know I don't eat meat. Um, I'm pescatarian so I do eat fish. But actually we're struggling to get our hands on fish right now um, because our, we're not allowed to leave the house here in Dubai. Uh, you have to get a permit to leave and we haven't been able to get a permit so we're just ordering in and we can't get any fresh fish which is uh, tough. So anyway, long story short, I always have a protein shake after a workout within 20 minutes. I use, uh, I actually for the first day ever don't have the shaker here but the optimum nutrition i'm using the plant-based one at the moment i have been for quite a while um, but their whey is also amazing there's so many flavors but for those of you who are vegan plant-based it's it tastes good and apparently to find a really good tasting vegan plant-based protein is very difficult and this one tastes yummy and um, so i tend to blend it up with frozen berries and yeah a yummy bowl so I hope that answers that. Beforehand, I actually don't eat that much if I'm doing a morning workout beforehand. Sometimes I'll have a banana or overnight oats, but not very much. I tend to load afterwards. Yeah, mm -hmm. hope that answers that. Julia Kushta asks, is it possible to build muscle and burn fat at the same time? Yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, a lot of bodybuilders will often go more down the route of uh, bulking and cutting, um, but it's not completely done one or the other. Definitely not. There is an overlap for sure. Um, I have so much respect for bodybuilders, competitors, so much respect, particularly from a discipline point of view. My gosh, I could not do it. Um, 
but my approach is very different to that. So I go with a long-term approach rather than going for one specific goal. It's absolutely fine if you have a wedding coming up or you know, you're wanting to get in the best shape of your life for a certain event, great um, and good on you for taking those steps. But what I would love to see is you maintain that then for the rest of your life. And I don't mean restrictive. I'm so against anything restrictive. I want you guys to find something that makes you happy from a long-term point of view, which ultimately in my mind is feeling healthy. So eating good foods, but without being restrictive, instead of completely cutting things out, you can replace them. Um, I've got a few vlogs on this, which you might find interesting if you haven't already watched it, particularly if you're new to my channel. Um, and also exercising because you love it and because you enjoy it and because it releases endorphins. So long-term lifestyle changes is what we're looking for rather than, in, in my opinion, that's the lean concept, each to their own, but rather than the bulking and the cutting, I want you guys to feel healthy year round um, and to feel like you look great and feel great year round. So yes, Back to your question, you 100% can. Um, you'll notice in a lot of my guides, and particularly next week if we're gonna be doing daily lives, I'll include fat burning days. And by fat burning, I basically mean the days when you've got high intensity type of stuff, or even hill it where we're not jumping, low impact but high intensity, um, which is mainly focused at your fat burning. And then we'll have days where we're using light weights as well to convert into muscle. All good, anything else? We're done. I think Alex is saying no more questions. <laughs> I'm like, I, guys, I can't see that far away. It's so blurry. I need to learn to put contacts in. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I think that's everything. Tira, is there anything they need to know? Just tomorrow. Yeah. Same place, same time. Get one friend involved tomorrow. And let's see if we've we got nearly 500 today. That is incredible. So yeah, let's see if we can get to a thousand. That would like literally make me so happy. To all of you who are new to my channel, mwah, welcome. We're nearly at 200,000 subs. Oh my gosh. Unreal. Don't forget to like this video, guys. I love you so much. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.